I get a lot of questions about my garden and I thought I would come out and show you around a little bit. Um, it's not perfect, but it's a work in progress and every year it gets a little bit better. Um, this is our compost. It's ready to be leveled off a little bit and some peat moss and topsoil added to it. And um, come middle of May, it would be perfect um, for a summer crop. And this is my onion bed. And I just want to say that I came out today because um, I really needed to get a jump start on this. As most of you know, I had um, surgery back in April last year, and it required two surgeons. And then I ended up with a kidney stone at the end of the growing season. And then, as you know, I've had COVID. And I'm still seven weeks out and uh, dealing with the effects of COVID. So you can see my garden is still kind of a hot mess in places. And um, so this is what I've been working on cleaning up. The, all of this was a mess today. All of it. So there's a pile down there that um, I got cleaned up. Sorry about the rooster. He wants to be famous. Um, I got these high rises cleaned off today and the beds raked and ready. And I think I'm gonna put here, um, if it's not too late for peas, and then we'll pop them out of the ground and get it re-raked and probably topped off. And then, um, cause you can see they need topped off a little bit. And then we will be ready for um, some summer stuff. So cucumbers, we did watermelon in these beds, cantaloupe in these beds, some cucumbers on these high rises. And in between last year, we did tomatoes. So this year we need to put tomatoes in a new spot. Um, we've got some walking onions that are perking up. I need to get the strawberry bed cleaned out, but it's perking. That bed over there needs topped off a little bit. And in this little bed right here, I can take you over there. Ella up um, broccoli the other day. So it's starting to come up a little bit. And we've got some herbs coming back in the barrels. I usually plant lettuce in one barrel and spinach in the other. Um, this is usually my herb bed. And I've got a tree coming back. We tried to kill it last year and it's coming back again. So we're going to work on that some more. But there is oregano under the straw and some chives. The sage I transplanted this past fall, winter, and it was a little too late. So it's trying to come back. There's a leaf or two that's starting to turn green on it on the backside. So we're babying it. We'll see how it goes. You can see I didn't get all of this mess cleaned up. Some of my tomatoes from last year. We got more compost going on. And right here, as you can hear, we have chickens. And I put um, their bedding in here along with our tea bags, banana peels, eggshells. We've got feathers. Anyway, right here is a baby rhubarb coming up. So I'm very excited. Rhubarb likes it a little bit cooler. Also, I have this pile of rocks. If anybody needs rocks, I got them. They're free to a good home you can have one you can have all you can have a few you can tell your friends but they're here and they need uh moved i'd like to add one more bed here i have room for just one more good long bed and um we like to make our own dirt when possible so that's what we got going on here this bed also needs topped off and cleaned up and um we're ready for a good growing season for 2022 I'm hoping. Um, now is a great time. You can see I got all the weeds coming up. We've got a dry spell coming a little bit before the rainy season. And these weeds are always the first to come up. They uh, thrive in this kind of environment, as you know. Um, so right now is the best time to get something put on them, whether it's salt, vinegar, Dawn dish soap, um, whatever your choice of weed killer is to get them out because before too long, we're gonna get the rainy season and it's gonna rain and rain and rain and rain. And as you know, most of the time the creeks come up and the um, lakes flood and we just get too much water until sometime in June when we get a little bit of a dry spell. By then this is so high, it's in the beds and it's a disaster. So right now is the perfect time to get a handle on all of these weeds.